All right, everybody. This here is for those of you that have a oh 1990, early 1990 on back to say I don't know 60s Dodge truck. Uh, this video here is going to show you how to relocate your voltage regulator. Now, uh, those of you who don't know, my case, mine's a 1979. There's my alternator. Right there where the coils, ignition coils sit, and that's where the voltage regulator used to sit. Now, I wanted to relocate my ignition coil and mount it vertically. And right there was the best spot I could put the coil. Now, unfortunately, that meant I'd have to relocate the voltage regulator. So, which is a simple process, really. There's just two wires. So what I did is I soldered on two extra lengths of wires. Made sure I made them green and red, respectively. And then... mounted the voltage regulator over here on the driver's side firewall or fender I mean uh, it grounds into the fender but I ran an extra ground wire never can be never hurts to have an extra ground wire on this crap because you know older trucks are notorious for having bad grounds and whatnot so I grounded it straight to the battery so you know but yeah, that's all there is to it. And plus it has an added benefit. You know, instead of having to climb clear over the engine just to get at the voltage regulator, I can lean right over the side of here. Much easier to get at it. And that's kind of the way I prefer it. You know, all my electrical components that I need to service are all on one side located within each other. I don't have to go crawling around the entire engine compartment just to fix one thing or another thing. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, put it below the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want, you can subscribe to the channel. I'll try to put out decent videos. <laughs> if, you know, hope you all enjoy them. Thank you all for watching them. Have a good day.